How would you describe your season? I can always say I'm very happy with my season. I'm not at all happy because I know I can I can do a little bit better than what I have done. And that's football. I have, just have to to take it like that and take the positive out of the negative and keep going. It was difficult at the beginning of the season because the fans believe in what you read in the newspapers and and they get frustrated about myself. And you know, it was difficult whenever I get the ball, they boo me. And as soon as you're playing football at home in front of your fans, and if your fans are booing you, to be honest, you don't even know what to do anymore. Do you feel in any way that the Arsenal fans are losing faith with you? Yeah. Because whenever they see me linked, what I cannot understand is I love this club and I have done everything to be here. And like wow, like how I say, when the boss called me for the first time to come to this club and I told him, because he, his question was, are you ready to come here? And I told him, even for free, I will come. It's normal that every single player, big club will come for you if you are a good player. And I think Arsenal fans have to understand that. Whenever they see newspaper that, I don't know, uh, Porto is coming for me, it's a problem. They start booing me. I'm not the one that say Porto have to come for me. Porto decided to come for Adebayo. It's not Adebayo's fault. If Mina decided to come for me, it's not my fault. Why are they booing me for? Because Mina want to buy me? I never say I'm going to Mina. When football fans see that a player is off form or appears not to be trying, isn't it reasonable for them to actually to vent their frustration? If somebody judge me on what I've done on the pitch, the person is completely right. Because, of course, we get a lot of money and these people work for I don't know how many times in the week, how many hours. He can't buy the T-shirt with our name. He'll be shouting our name and at the end of the day, he thought that we doesn't give everything that we need to give. This person go home, he can say everything that he wants. But what I didn't understand is when they link me with somebody, with some, another team, what is my fault there? You've signed a long-term contract. If You're I, staying at Arsenal. I never tell anyone. If somebody can prove that, I will, I will try, I will do everything to see the person in front of me, tell him that I tell him that I'm leaving. I never tell anyone I'm leaving. If the club decide to leave me to go, like the way I can hear some fans say now, we can leave him, he can go, he, he should go. Those You're aware of those comments? Of course. Of course, I'm a woman being. I listen to radio, I hear people talking, I got family, I got friends. I'm like a normal person like everyone. Those are the things that touch everyone, you know, like you get committed to something like I will do this, I will try to achieve it. And at the end of the day, you just got a, like a wrong response. It's always difficult to take. But I'm a player. I know those are the things that make a better player. So yeah, I, take the, I take the criticize in a good way. You've played a number of games up front on your own. It's very, very, very difficult. Do you feel that you could do a little bit of support, another striker alongside you? Of course, yes. To be honest, playing up front on your own, one game, two game is good. It's, it's very good because you dare to help your team, you dare to, to do the dirty job sometimes. But for four or five games, to be honest, it's, it becomes very, very difficult. When you got defenders like Vijit, Rio Ferdinand, John Terry, Cavallo, uh, Ivanovic, can you imagine on my own what am I going to do against those players? So it makes it very difficult. The game between United and Arsenal at the Emirates in the Champions League semi-final. Patrice Evra said it was like men against babies. What was your reaction to that quote? Yeah, I was a little bit upset at the end when I heard some players making that call, that, that interview. No matter what happened, we are players. We play football, we love playing football. But you cannot call, call a player a baby. Because it happened that sometimes we won against Manchester. If I can remember earlier on in the season, we won against them in the Premiership, and we never said they are kid or they are baby. So those are, those things I think is disrespectful for the other team. There's a song that they sing at the Emirates when they sing your name. It rings completely around the ground. It's a it's a great song. Um, I suppose you long to hear that again. And and are you aware? that you do have this special relationship with the fans and perhaps this season's not been your best and perhaps that's why they've not been singing it as often? Like I was saying, I think at the end of the day, the feeling that we got is even if I scored 30 goals, they will not sing my, they will not sing my song like before because they, because they told I, I don't respect this club because of what they read in the summer, what they read, whatever. Sometimes it does happen that I score. The way they sang, the way they sing last season, the way they gave me motivation, it's not the same. Last season, even, even as soon as I get in front of the pole, even if I miss, 
unbelievable goal. They think that I could score easily. You can see all the stadium like stand up and singing my name. Those are the things that give me motivation. Like, okay, can you imagine 60 persons singing your name? You have to show them that you are there. You don't have, you don't have to let them down. And this season, even if I score, as soon as they mention my name, like number 25 for Emmanuel Adebayo, you can see some people booing. To be honest, I'm a great person. I'm, an, I'm a strong character guy. Otherwise, I could have given up since. But I just told myself, keep going. Keep playing your football. But isn't it your responsibility to win back those fans? How am I going to win back? Whenever I score, they're happy. And the next day, because most of the time when I score, everyone is happy, which is normal. And when I score, the next day in the newspaper, Milan won me. And that's the problem. What do you want me to do about that? I cannot do nothing. But it sounds, Emmanuel, as though you're giving up here. I'm not giving up. I'm very fun here, but I just want the fans to believe in the team. Those things can never help the team to win nothing. If they do that, they boo me, they boo Robin, they boo Ebue, they boo uh, Cesc Fabregas, I don't know where we're going. They are fans, they want, they want trophy, they have to go behind their club and they, we bring them their trophy.